Clark Ludwig here again, and it's been a busy few weeks, uh, but now I'm back on the ground and uh, ready to go through the next video of our uh, series of doing a, a plant project using the, the AC collections. Um, so over the last few weeks, we've obviously gotten to the point where we uh, have our structure modelled um, in advanced steel, and you can see uh, since last time, uh, I've still got a few connections in there. So I do have uh, assemblies and um, single parts in here, obviously. Uh, and what we want to look at today is just getting some documents out of, out of this as well. So before you need to document, uh, you need to do the numbering. So the numbering procedure is quite easy. Click on the numbering button, uh, process single parts and process assemblies. Um, I'm not really fussed in here I just I, I like leaving the defaults and, and uh, doing single parts in a, in a thousand and process uh, assemblies you know, with single values you can obviously go through and change it um, just as a, as a quick note by default it will number all the items the same uh, if they are found to be the same but you can do unique numbers and you can also exclude certain uh, objects as well so uh, oh, and lastly, you can uh, compare it against the standard part template. I won't necessarily dig into that now, but just as a as a quick uh, look onto it, you can uh, have elements in this model compared to a standard part in another model and have it numbered or named the same. Um, but I'm just going to go OK to this. So when it comes up that it's finished, you will get a dialog box uh, talking about uh, the single parts and the assemblies and, and how they're numbered and, and what they are as well. So it's a good way for you to check that it's been done. So under the drawing processes, we have our assemblies, we have camera views and we have our single parts. Um, because I like to keep these short and sweet, uh, I'm just going to do some out of the box uh, assemblies uh, on sheets and uh, single parts on sheets. So you can do um, all the, the, the whole model together um, or you can do them individually or, or as you select them. Um, just as a reference, I did one for a customer a, a while ago when Advanced Steel first came out and ended up doing 600 drawings in 10 minutes uh, just automatically. Obviously, the, the I have no doubt there will be needs uh, later on for, for you to maybe post process them a little bit um, but again just as a, as a quick pass you can get a, a few drawings out uh, quite quickly so for this exercise uh, I'm just going to focus on this this central column here so this is where I can just pick the elements so I've done a crossing selection so I'm going to say do the assemblies uh, on an A3 or to an A1 sheet um, and you get the option here of selected or all or whatever else. Um, I have selected uh, parts and then I just click on that and go OK. So again, because we're still working inside our Plant 3D project, these these will, will get made under that project as well. You won't see them in the in the plant model, obviously. Um, there is no need to, but ultimately um, you can put them in here yourself. So to, to look at the drawings, there's a couple ways of doing it. I My personal preference is to to pick on the assembly on that column there, right click on it and say show the assembly detail uh, and then it takes me into that drawing and, and now we have um, that assembly detail there. So again, this is the out of the box. Uh, I'm not going to delve into setting up um, these these title box, uh, not in this one, in this, not in this video anyway. But this is the, again, the out of the box table. So the assembly is marked number 13 and it contains four elements so one of them is the column itself so it's item number 1003 and there's item number 1024 which is three of them uh, which is these, these fin plates uh, that are welded off to the side of it as well so you can see all of that there so also as well I'm just going to do the same and do the single parts so selected single parts and then to make things a, a little bit more interesting rather than picking the column uh, which uh, don't think has really that any no it has no real modifications on it but I can click pick um, the beam and then say show me the part detail and again we end up with uh, the beam with uh, the holes defined and all of their spacings uh, and, and again uh, 
where they where they may be as well. So that's really just sort of creating uh, the, the documentation. Oh, the, the other way you can do it is click on the document manager uh, and you do get uh, a list of all of the, the details up there as well. Now, the thing with advanced steel, if you make a change to model, then it, it will highlight in your document manager that the, the file needs to change. So if I edit uh, this connection, so if I turn around and do uh, two horizontal bolts, then you can see that the connection changes and then we're all good there. Now what happens is I can jump into my document manager and that one change has affected three drawings. So you can click on the preview and see uh, which what, what the drawing might look like. So that's a, the assembly there. It's also assembly for the unit itself and also as a single part for itself as well. So there are two options in here. You can force the update, which basically means it's, it's just going to force the update as it, li as it sits, uh, or update the revision. So if I update the revision, so um, I might say Rev A, uh, and it was checked by me. So I just put my initials in, and I will say um, details changed. Again, not really too fussed on it, but you can put in whatever you want. So it's going to go away. Um, and again, by default, it's going to save the old version in a backup folder and then up rev the next one. So we can turn around and open the new assembly drawing, which obviously has been changed. So again, it's it's put a, um, a revision cloud around that change and uh, obviously the dates have changed there as well. So again, just some, some quite handy tools um, inside Advanced Steel to do your documentation. Again, there's a whole bunch of, uh, of, of options in here. So, you know, setting up your, your documents, your sheets, uh, which I won't necessarily go through in, in this video, but out of the box, you can basically be up and running as soon as you install the software uh, and very similar to, to Plan 3D, which you can go up and running just with out of the box uh, options in there as well. So hopefully this has uh, been a little bit of insight for you on creating documentation. Um, next week, we're gonna start having a play around with uh, Revit, Revit structure in particular and Plan 3D structure. So if you're, you're conceptualizing your plant structure, um, we're going to have a look at exporting that out of Plant 3D and then into Revit um, and then look, exploring options on how to bring that uh, that Revit model back into Plant 3D. So hit the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed already, click on the bell icon to get notified of, of any uh, changes and uh, if, feel free to, to make some comments below. See you next week.